Hey, this is Red Band coming to you live from the Red Famous Comedy Store main room for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony Hinchcliffe. Hello, everybody. Make some noise. Here we are. It has begun. You're at the number one live podcast in the world. Kill Tony. Make some noise for Brian Red Band. Hey. Brian J. Ebelt, the house artist, is here with a blank sheet of paper. He's already begun drawing tonight's episode. While you all sit there, he draws the show. There's a print of every show that's ever been done available at ryanjebelt.com. And we, they just sold out of the, uh, of the poster. We just found out the five-year yeah. anniversary poster sold Sweet. out. Um, we have a lot of dates coming up. And I've been doing uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of stuff lately. And... With that said, <laughs> yes, breaking news. This weekend, for you YouTube fans and people listening to the podcast around the world, this weekend coming up, I'm doing La Jolla Comedy Store all weekend, four shows. Announced out of nowhere. Why not? I'll take somebody else's sloppy seconds, go down to La Jolla, just pack it out. Yeah. And I'm just doing stand-up there. I'm bringing uh, Josh Martin uh, with me, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Fuck yeah. And uh, the great Malcolm Hatchett will be opening those shows, so cool for him. Uh, but we are all going together. We have some fun road trips coming up where we do Kill Tony and stand-up comedy shows. Uh, we're going to Lansing, Michigan, Grand Rapids, Michigan, Detroit, Michigan. There's uh, Kill Tony's and stand-up shows on each of those. Yeah. September 20th, 21st, and 22nd. Toronto. September 28th, Midnight Show. We just announced last week that uh, uh, Joe Rogan was going to be joining us on that. And it's sold out. So that's currently sold out. I wonder and, why. Uh, now the Midnight Theater Kill Tony in Toronto has already sold out. So, But I'm doing uh, one-hour stand-up sets there uh, throughout the week. They have me doing solo uh, shows where, because like it's all French and Canadian, you can't even have like openers or anything like that. Why? Yeah, I don't know. It's some like weird performance thing. Oh. Uh, Chicago, I'm in, uh, or, uh, October, I'm in Chicago. And then we do Kill Tony Mania. That is oh, that's... craziness. Kill Tony, oh. two Kill Tonys in one night in San Francisco. I do stand-up in Connecticut after that. Uh, then we do Kill Tony in Swansea, Michigan, Boston, Providence, November 9th, chaos. Mm -hmm. And then we go to San Antonio, Austin, Houston, Fort Worth, and, uh... Jesus, that's and, a lot. And then also, <laughs> how about one more announcement? I don't think I got this out last week. There's not going to be a Kill Tony on New Year's Eve here. Oh. Yeah, it's a whole thing. The Comedy Store does their own New Year's shows. That makes sense, right? right? It's a New Year's Eve. And uh, so they're going to be doing their own shows. And I'm going to be performing in uh, Dallas, a solo headlining stand-up nice. show, just me. So if you live near Dallas, you guys, uh, you guys rented me for New Year's Eve. So you might as well come see a fucking show. Shout out to Blue Apron, ZipRecruiter, for hymns.com. Let's do this shit, shall we? Let's just get into it. It's Kill Tony. We have a guest. Every single week, I have one of the funniest comedians in the world on this show, and truly, this is a very special one. He was the guest on the first ever episode of Kill Tony. It was Hinchcliffe called, Notes. Yeah, it was called Hinchcliffe's Notes. <laughs> we changed it. Uh, oh, man. Soon after. <laughs> and uh, I had him on that show because I know he's absolutely hilarious. He's truly, 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 I mean, people say this in intros, one of the best, one of the funniest comedians. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the great Rick Ingram, everyone. Come on. Let's do it. I'm excited about this. We're back in the saddle again. Host to the Comedy Store podcast with our other good friend, Eleanor Kerrigan. Rick Ingram is back. Is it, does this remind you of episode one? This is a little different. <laughs> it feels a little different. The room is uh, a lot larger. Yeah. Uh, the people, way more attractive. Yeah. But I have a feeling that comedy is going to be just as awful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's do you, true. Do you remember doing that first episode? I do. I, I remember it very well. I was like, this is genius. Uh, I, I as well was like, Hinchcliffe notes. I'm not sure that's <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that's a winning recipe. But uh, you add murder to the title, people I, get interested. I, I never listen or uh, really watch this show, but I did get a chance to glance back because uh, uh, Brenton, uh, the social media manager here at the Comedy Store, asked me earlier in the week if I had any pictures of 
that episode or on that show. So I just brought up the video and took a screen grab of right. us sitting there. But when I was fast forwarding, I heard myself say, you know, nine people signed up tonight uh, <laughs> for the chance to do. <laughs> It's so crazy. There was nine people that signed up, and I think four other audience members. Two yeah. of them were Laney and Jerry, the uh, older couple that are here every week. They're in, uh, like, Panama or like, something this week. Is that right? Yeah. They're, they're f fucking yeah. so gross right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's just fuck. Sloppy. Sloppy. Margaritaville. Everywhere. Jerry's hitting every hole. Well, Rick, I'll tell you this, is uh, when, uh, when we were doing that episode one, we did not have a head of security, we did not have a band, but now we fucking do. Well, do did they have uh, the Patriot back then? <laughs> was no, that guy no, there? that was... He came I up to us. He was there. We met the Iron Patriot after that, that show, show that we did. Yeah. Yeah. Afterwards, he came up to me, he's like, anything that I can do for you, I will do. I'm like, all right, <laughs> you're going to stand next to the stage. Anyway. But now it's a band. We have an amazing band. Nice. The best damn band in the land. Every week they commit to different characters. I never know what they're going to do. I have no idea ever. And uh, so let's see what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the Kill Tony Band. Jeremiah Watkins, Joel Jimenez, and Chroma Chris. All right. Whoa! Oh, we've seen these guys before. <laughs> Wow. We've seen these guys before. I do believe this is white trash. <laughs> Jeans, a tank top. Hell yeah, we are. <laughs> wow. Man, I can't believe hey, well, One man's wow. white trash is another man's white treasure. That's the strangest wow, white look trash at that. man I've, I've ever been, seen. I haven't been able to get Theo Vaughn on in the last few months, but I guess I'll settle for what we got here. Uh, wow, we got Jeremiah. That mullet is Dude. fucking... Going back to his Kansas roots. Hell yeah, man. How you feeling tonight? Hell yeah, last time you saw us in San Francisco, we were there, but we didn't realize a lot of gay people lived there, so that's why we came back to L.A. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, your last appearance was in San Fran. How, you, that, you spent a lot of time there, though. <laughs> yeah, a lot of creepers out there, man. Well, we're going to be back there, all of us, for two shows at, uh, on October 12th, Kill Tony Mania in San Francisco. Anything crazy happen to you up there? Shit my pants. <laughs> and then we have, look at this little adorable princess. Uh, no matter what he does l lately, the last couple months, no matter what character Joel tries to be, it's definitely always a female, if I feel like. <laughs> like, you look like, really a, like, a, like a weird, like, hot chick or something. Yeah. You're like weird, like if Ariana Grande wore a blonde wig or something like that. Yeah, huh? I think that's more on you. You got a weird taste in women, dude. <laughs> <laughs> more attractive than Hannah Gatsby, I'll give him that. <laughs> Nanette. So uh, everybody's with us. We have the band. We have Rick. Everything's exciting. Uh, you guys know how it works. I think about uh, 60 or 70 comedians, or maybe wow. it's just someone who hasn't done it before. They all signed up earlier, long before the show on the patio to get a chance on this stage. If I pull your name out of the bucket, you get 60 seconds uninterrupted. You know your 60 seconds is up when you hear the sound of a kitten. Aw, you could barely hear it. Let it out of the cage. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Wrap it up then or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. Wow. Furious tonight. You guys ready to start this shit? It's Kill Tony live. Yeah. Can you blast off the, uh, you can turn off the side neon. Fuck yeah. Let's do this shit. All right. You guys excited for this? All right. We know this young lady. She's been on the show a few times. She's actually pretty funny. Put your hands together for Jesse Johnson, everyone. Jesse Johnson. All right. And we have the gun. Listen to that white trash guy play that fucking saxophone. Come on. Jesse Johnson, everyone. All right. So, uh, you guys like comedy, huh? Uh, have you ever heard of famous comedian Eddie Murphy? No, he's so funny. If you haven't heard of him, get a radio. No, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Um, he's the brother of uh, famous comedian Charlie Murphy. Rest in peace. Uh -uh. Anyway, I just found out Eddie Murphy's expecting another kid. That means he's going to have 10 kids. 
Yeah, 10 kids. I bet his dick's so stretched out. <laughs> 10 kids? Are you kidding me? Dude, I bet his stretched out dick looks like a gauged earlobe. <laughs> but, dude, dude, I bet Eddie Murphy's dick's more stretched out than my mom's second divorce proceeding. <laughs> what? Dude, his stretch marks, dude. I bet his dick's more stretched out than the war on terror. <laughs> That went on so long. Uh, is it still going on? Uh, I bet it's not. Oh, can I finish it? <laughs> oh, there's more. Go ahead. Yes. I bet it's not as stretched out, though, as his ex wife's pussy. Am I right? <laughs> oh, too far? Uh, not as far as Eddie Murphy stretched out dick. <laughs> All right, that's it. Wow. <laughs> well, you know what? Sometimes destiny happens for a reason. I think uh, I think that cat me out at exactly 60 seconds to let you know that that's where the bit should end. <laughs> right, uh, right. <laughs> that's very possible. Incredible. It was definitely two beats too long. <laughs> I timed it out. I was like, well, that's the minute, but I, I really want to f- get that tag in there. So. Hell yeah. It was so great. The death of a lot of comedians, that yeah. last tag in Yeah, there. exactly. And then it doesn't work, and then you feel like you have to do something else to close it afterwards. Just one, one more. Dude, I played a game of tag with my dad. He never came back, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy to be on the White Trash episode. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hell yeah. So, Jesse, uh, that was a really fun set. How's life been? You've always had uh, fun, goofy sets on this show. Thank you. I'm glad to be back. Uh, yeah. Everything's been going great. I think I was back in February. It was the last time I was here. Uh, working Ugh, the worst month of the year. Wait, whoa, whoa. Why is that? Wait, <laughs> pretty, ra- <laughs> pretty racist. <laughs> oh, fairly racist. Oh, wow. Oh, well, cause I, agree, co- I agree. Oh. Hold on, wait a what? second. Wait, I want this, to be, I want this to be cleared what? up. I want to give him a chance. Why is February? Because Valentine's Day. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> Got to buy stuff for your significant... Okay, you get all you. <gasps> all right. So, Jesse, what's been happening? It's been, what, like six, eight months since the last time we saw you or something, right? It feels like, like longer. What was the first joke you did that just made the comedians laugh? What was that one? So uh, you guys like comedy, No, you don't have huh? to do it like how you did it. You just give me like the subjects that I could. Um, I talked about Eddie Murphy. The radio. Oh, have you ever heard of oh. Eddie Murphy? Oh, yeah. Oh, I got gotcha. you. The if whole thing was an Eddie it. Murphy bit, wasn't it? It was. Oh, there you go. So <laughs> about your life in the last few months, anything crazy happen or anything like that? How's comedy been treating you? Clearly you've been on the circuit, right? Yeah, I've been getting booked on shows. I've been, I feel like uh, I'm really out there and uh, doing great shows. <laughs> huh, you're <laughs> out there all right. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, I work on a show in Phoenix, too. We got that coming up in October. I've been doing a lot of clubs, and uh, it feels good. Very cool. Yeah. Why do you have the glasses of a conspiracy theorist? <laughs> <laughs> the shirt of a grandmother. <laughs> A cool Lovely. Gra- I'm going to make a cool grandma. Uh, I love these glasses. Eh? What the hell? <laughs> My timing's so off right now, but it's working. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Com- the confidence is there. <laughs> Do you have a day job? Yeah, I'm working four jobs. Well, I'm a PA, a production assistant on four jobs. three jobs. Yeah. And then I babysit. Uh-huh. Nanny, if you want to sound elite, but... It's babysitting. Tell us about that family. <laughs> <laughs> They're really nice. They, they live in a great house. You know, they watch this five-year-old, and we pl- go swimming, and we play games, and we, and they everyone's like, They pay you to sit on their baby? <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> 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 they do not like when I do that, Joel. <laughs> uh, I would love to see her nanny cam. Do you, what do you do when you babysit? Are you... Uh, Internet, porn, like what do you do? <laughs> nope, none of those. I, a lot of weed, a lot of swimming. <laughs> a lot of weed. <laughs> yeah. Has the five-year-old heard the Eddie Murphy bit? <laughs> no. I'm waiting until his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 we have the audio of a five-year-old. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Jerry Sandusky's basement? What's going on there? <laughs> yeah. Too soon? The old Sandusky whip. 
Uh, Jesse, anything else crazy uh, in life? You have any? Uh, you have any hobbies or fun talents or anything like that? I play the trumpet. I've been playing a lot more lately. I eventually. Thanks, thanks, guys. The world uh, needs more trumpet. I think so. I played a careless whisper. I tweeted at Jeremiah, coming for your spot. <laughs> Whoa! <Damn>. Look out! <laughs> well, <laughs> unfazed. Unfazed. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like the audience really wants that too. You know? I know. I want to play it on stage, but I don't want a gimmick. You know. You don't so have a trump. You don't have it with you, do you? No. But oh, that yeah. would be epic. I don't trumpet you <laughs> versus sax. I we know it. You'll have to bring it. Uh, bring it next time. I never just carry it around. No, I but think you should. Yeah. Where would All she right. have it right now? I mean, <laughs> I could guess a few places, but. Like what, Joel? Your vagina. I was thinking. Nice. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I was uh, wondering. That, that Joel's a straight shooter, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my ex-wife always said. <laughs> well, Jesse, it was fun times. Thanks for having me back. Of course. Yeah, yeah very fun set. Yeah. Very silly, goofy, lighthearted. Got political. She's, she's right. Her timing is off, mm -hmm. but she's funny. Jesse Johnson, everybody. Jesse. She's on Twitter at Jetski Johnson. It's interesting, because she's always been awkward. She's always had like an awkward uh, style and delivery yeah, thing. And I she's felt definitely that. getting uh, getting better at it. It's sort of She's funny. getting better at being awkward. Well, because it's either when you find when in this you know, when you see a lot of different comedians all the time and when you see like an awkward one, if yeah. that makes sense, early on, it's always one of two things. Either that's what they think is the funny version of them and they're going to over time get funnier at it which so rarely happens Very and the rare. other option is they're awkward because they're legitimately fucking crazy psychopaths yeah and they always stay awkward because they're just awkward it's good to see that she's expanded beyond like school shooter awkwardness and T Tony she was like actually working on the craft the whole time you Tony know I mean? you know what we do with the awkward kids in my family <laughs> what just bait them <laughs> it's pretty simple <laughs> thought it was going to be something crazier I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Brandon Bryan. Yeah. Solid. Oh, from the farthest corner, the lucky corner. It's a, it's a weekly tradition that if you want to ever get up on the show, just sit at that table yeah. because it takes the longest to come from there. And walk the slowest possible. Yes, for sure. Like, this just guy's... look down at the ground. <laughs> Good cardio. Act like you're texting Pacing on a crosswalk. When somebody's trying One to more time right. for Brandon Bryan. What's up, comedy store? Oh shit! Uh, I just started comedy a couple a uh, couple months ago, and uh, comedy actually gave me uh, it taught me that uh, white privilege truly exists. Uh, I'm two for two on this show, 100. percent Every mic I go to, that's a lottery mic. I don't even put my put my name in. They just uh, they're like, oh shit, Brandon. All right, you're up there. <laughs> uh, a couple of my other friends, they're, they're not white, and they're always with me, and they're waiting like two or three hours to get up, and they never get up. So I, gu I guess it pays to be, uh, pays to be white. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> wow. All right, there you go. Wow, dude, this guy was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> he was smart. He knew. He said, "I'm gonna leave that last 15 seconds open because I already closed strong." That was incredible. I mean, what can I say? Was that going to be your set regardless of who the guests were and who the band was tonight? Like, were you going to so, do that set two weeks ago when Too Short was here? <laughs> that so would have been awesome. I actually had, like, a whole different thing planned, but my friend actually uh, told, me to, told me to go with that one. I like wow. that. He said, I got a minute. I should probably improv the beginning of this. <laughs> well, we were, no, we were going over, like, I was telling him jokes, like, like an hour back, so, like, in the, on the patio. I was like, I'm going to do this. He's like, no, nah, you should go with that one. What's the ethnicity of your friend? He's right there. He's black. Well, we can't see him. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Wow. Oh, hey, hey, wow. 
I'm uh, behind he, the curtain. He's the one, he's the one that told me to go with it. No, it's in, I'm so, first of all, I'm surprised that you have a black friend. Yeah, <laughs> very bizarre. Second of all, you're wearing a Lil Uzi Vert t-shirt, and it, it doesn't match your everything else. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> I've been on before. Do you remember? You call me uh, your, your favorite lesbian comedian. This is like, a month, this is like two months ago. That makes sense. And look at you. Since I saw you, your special Nanette came out, yep. and uh, <laughs> everything's going good for you. He retired Hi. from comedy. She. She retired from comedy. He's just out there political speaking now. Um, I like your, uh, I mean, you do have a good look, Brandon. You seem like... Uh, Hell yeah, he does. You, you, you seem like a, a fuck up and like you sort of have it together at the same time. Like, it seems like you would do something crazy, but then defend yourself in court and yeah. win. Yeah, yeah, like your shirt says Lil Uzi Vert, but your face says Lil Uzi Downs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what? <laughs> What is that? I was like, what? I think he's saying I have Down syndrome. That was the joke. Yeah, we call this guy a nastard where I'm from. <laughs> Dude, you got to get some not queer pants, though, bro. What's going yeah. on with those pants, man? What is your thing, man? Uh, where are you from? Uh, Huntington Beach. Huntington Beach. Orange County. There it is. Yep. And you still live there, right? Yeah. How old are you? <laughs> Got them OC pre-torns on. <laughs> He's coming off as a real hunting and screech, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what, did the, what did the pants pre-torn cost you? <laughs> what, what did they cost? Yeah. I think like 30 bucks. You, you bought them already torn, right? Yeah. I can't imagine a scenario where they would naturally tear that way. <laughs> yeah. Nothing that he does. Like, I mean, aside from like an aggressive right. blowjob that he didn't want. A trying, Me Too movement. Trying to write yeah. out uh, math problems on his thigh. Yeah. <laughs> to answer your question, I'm 21. Whoa. He said, he, said, he said how old are you? When people say they're 21, I tend to believe that they're not yet 21. <laughs> Should have said 22. When I started comedy, I wanted to drink at the comedy club in Kansas City, and I wasn't old enough, so I just did bits about being 21. <laughs> That's For fucking real. brilliant, dude. Yeah. That is so brilliant. My That's sound always be like, oh, I just turned 21 two months ago. <laughs> and then some really lame joke. And then I would just buy beers. That's fucking Did you ever get brilliant. caught? No, I never got caught. Well, huh. they figured it out on my actual 21st <laughs> birthday. Wow. But their problem. So, Brandon, you're from Huntington Beach. You got holes in your pants. You got fucking, you do your taxes ahead of time face. <laughs> Explain it. Like, what are you into? What do you, what do you, do you have a job? Yeah, yeah. What do you do? I work at a restaurant. And oh, I, yeah? Yeah, it just, it's not like What a, restaurant? Hooters? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> what, what came first, the Lil Uzi shirt or the Black Friends? <laughs> it's a chicken and the egg scenario. I understand that. It's, it's, it's more like a chicken and... In the waffle scenario, really. So which one was it? The shirt or the black friend? You go ahead, whenever you're ready. You have the up until the end of the Jeopardy <laughs> theme. <laughs> the shirt. The shirt? The shirt. <laughs> there we go. That's what, I, yeah. that's what we thought. All right. All so, right. Brandon, you're 21. What's your big plan? You really been doing this for a couple months? Oh, uh, yeah. I started in June. You started in June. Mm -hmm. All right. And, uh, yeah. What do you think a vagina is going to look like when you finally see one? <laughs> <laughs> if you had to, like, ballpark what your mind thinks it would look like, it's you'll true. figure it out. It's true. That's a good, uh, good route to go on. Brandon, what is your, uh, what's your sex life like? You ever hook up with chicks? You ever scissor with them or something like that? <laughs> you ever just take your big fat fucking pussy and just slam it right up against theirs and just fucking... Lips make, make, make yeah. the humidity go up in the fucking room. You know what I'm saying? You scissor, bro, or what? No, the, yeah. the last time I was here, we had the same exact conversation. <laughs> really? Yeah. We I have to go back. He's got, got the look. Wow, That's I can't so believe it worked you must two have times. Like a, I, I mean, look at his fucking head. Look at them for a second so they could really see. I mean, very rarely do I see somebody and just, like, the roasting part of me is like... Drrr. Like, I could do this for hours with you. I could just sit in a room with you and be like, oh, what was that, bitch? <laughs> it's not really a roast joke, but... He's like the, he looks like the nerdy kid from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids all grown up. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's I a mean, good it, look. It is incredible. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's the most no, honey. No. It, it, honey, I shrunk the kids and not shrunk his shirt. Like, that thing looks like. Have those black people been, like, spinning you around by your t shirt or something? Do, do they bully you? Blink twice if they bully you. <laughs> I know where they're at. He's actually the kid from a uh, Christmas story oh, growing that's up. Him. Yeah. yeah. You, you, I don't you're know doing the white references. privilege joke tonight, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know any of these references. He's 21. He yeah, know he's these 21. References. The only Christmas story you know is fucking Elf 4. <laughs> <laughs> Got him, man. That's before his time, too. <laughs> so what do you do? What's a 21-year-old do nowadays? What, what, like, what do you do for fun? Uh, I go to a lot of rap shows. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Same, the same conversation we had last time. Sure. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> I'm trying to find out what's goddamn interesting about you, so it's going to probably be the same conversation because I don't fucking remember. Uh, He's I got positive. The audience is like, they already know this. <laughs> they remember from last time. I heard it. I was here in June. I, 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 got, I got a question for him. Uh, how do you like your pussy? I like mine uh, smothered and covered. I don't, even know what, I don't even know what he said. Have you ever been to a Waffle House before? No. Have you ever been to a Denny's before? Yes. All right. There's an option on the menu to get your breakfast smothered <laughs> okay, and covered. Okay. God dang, man. Do I got to explain everything to this guy? He's got, he's got black friends, Jeremiah, so it's a different thing, man. <laughs> you never my, answered my question, uh, and I, before I let you go, I want to find out. You must get tons of pussy, right? Last time you got laid, what was that like? Never. Never? You're a virgin? Did we talk about this last time? Fuck, I knew it! You're a real virgin? It's Jen Murphy here. <laughs> wow. Well, I, 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 I would ask if there's any ladies in this room that want to fuck this guy, but I already know the answer is absolutely not. Maybe take him up to... Uh, to kill Tony Mania in San Fran and yeah. toss him to the Lions. Oh, yeah. Any of your black friends ever rape you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what the hell is going on, Tony? What the hell, man? Did I put a finger in you? Huh? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Jeremiah. Cruising, I'm sorry for that, man. Cruising down the street with one pinky in. Have you ever done that with your black friends? Well, Brandon, I'm going to be honest with you. Your stand-up's dog shit, but here's the good news. You're an interesting guy. I think you should probably fucking, you know, talk about, talk about really your life I, or I something, was, I man. I was because going to, but it just, I was just going to let it. You were ordered by black people to do something different. Yeah. <laughs> and your white guilt led to this absolutely amazing white privilege set. He opened with my favorite line, oh, shit. <laughs> Every good comedy set starts that way. Yeah. Well, Brandon, you're interesting as fuck. I spent way too much time with you. There he goes, Brandon Bryan, yeah. everybody. That's a fun guy. Yeah. I, I feel like we were just as mean to him last time, too. That poor guy. If we bully him enough, he'll have a Netflix special by next year. <laughs> Victimhood is hot. It really is. Pulled another name out. Kim McVicker. All right. Kim McVicker? Yeah. Is that a real human being? All right, there she comes. Watch out. Here she comes. Kim McVicker, everyone. One more time for Kim. Hey, um, I have a transgender cat. Thank you. I'm really progressive. Yeah, no, I do. Mr. Kitty Kitty, he's now the cat formerly known as Mr. Um, what happened was he couldn't pee, and the only way to save my cat's life was to cut off his dick and turn him into a woman. That is a real thing that my West Hollywood vet did to my cat. He cut off his dick and turned him into a woman. I now have my very own Catlin Jenner. I do. Um, I will say that having a transgender cat is a lot like being raised by a gay older brother, and that it's disappointing. 
Um, not because I don't support trans cats, I do, I kept her. Um, but it's because you can't tell that this cat is trans, like you can't tell. Like she didn't come in in a little lady dress like my brother did at my eighth grade graduation. All right, I'm gonna end on that. There you go. Was that her? That meow got me. All right. How much of that's true? 100%. 100% Mr. True. Kitty Kitty is now a she. Was okay. that really his name, Mr. Kitty Kitty? It still is. I didn't change his then name. Then that is an abomination to God, and you should kill that thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Immediately. Jeremiah's face, I was, I was concerned throughout that entire set, man. You could tell he was on the verge of throwing up. Let, the, me, let, me, let me ask you this, Kim. So they cut off the cat's dick. Uh, did they also cut off the cat's balls? I did that already to him when I got him. Originally. That ain't right. Like, Jesus. that's the first That thing. ain't right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, I, he did it in two stages. Wow. Yeah. How old is the cat? It was, he was, like, a year old, so. Oh, I would have I would have put it down. They, you had the choice of putting him down. He was a, a baby. Good life. A year's a good life. Yeah, I mean, for a cat, come on. Yeah, How dude. long do they live? For, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, honestly, would you guys want your kids to go to the bathroom with a cat that's <laughs> transgender? <laughs> so has your cat, I have a daughter, so has your cat cool. started like act different? Like they like is it, I like, honestly was like, like tapped it. in the butt more he or something? He still tries to have sex with a girl cat. A- all the after time. the surgery, did you get him a glitter box instead of a litter box? <laughs> So the cat is a boy, but he doesn't have a dick and balls. He's basically the last comedian on stage. It's pretty incredible. (laughs) So, Kim, I have have the feeling by uh, by both your material and the way you look that Mr. Kitty isn't the only cat that you have. No, of course not. You you have have multiple cats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. All right. Uh, how many cats do you have? Two. I feel like you're lying. No, that's it. That's it. Two. I would have more if I would. Yeah, but I only have two. She cut herself off. I would. I would have more, but you know it's an addiction. How many ferrets yeah. do you have? <laughs> None. All right. You don't have any other only animals? Only as a child. No, just How many cats? Dalmatians have you scanned for a jacket? <laughs> what, uh, what year is your Subaru? What year is my Subaru? Yeah. <laughs> 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 what year is it? I don't have a Subaru. What do you have? Um, I don't know. I have a car. <laughs> what? It's a CRV, I think. I don't know. I bought it. It's a 2018. It works. You don't, don't know, know the, the about name? It's Honda CRVs. Yeah, it's a they, it's a car that I. Why'd you get, get so nervous? Because well, I don't know anything. Are we about to figure out oh a Grand Theft Auto right yeah, now? This is a, it, it, yeah, this is. Yeah. How do you she not sh- know the brand of your car? car. <laughs> <laughs> It's a car is the weirdest yeah, answer it's a I've car. ever heard. It's a uh, like like it f- like forest green. No, it's a, a black car. Oh, jeez. <laughs> wow. It's a, I don't know. I, I it's a Honda. I, I don't know what more about it. I don't know about cars. I just bought it cuz it okay, works. Okay, so okay, weird. Relax. Yeah. Relax. Uh, that's one of the uh, oddest reactions to any <laughs> question I've ever had in the history of this did, show. Did you fuck that car? Or like what was you ever take the ca- the cats in the ca- uh, in the car with you to no. drive around? You ever take the cats in the car in the silver spoon? <laughs> Little boy. All right. What do you? <laughs> what do you do for work? Oh, I am a dance choreographer. Whoa, is yeah. that true? Really, you're like a professional dance choreographer? Yeah. My goodness. So cool. you know how to dance? Yeah. Who are you choreographing dances for? Um, I the uh I did a uh the last thing I guess would be Game of Thrones uh in Australia. They have a musical, so I flew out and did that. Um you, you're what an kind, expert what? in Game of Thrones dance. Game of Thrones has a musical, guys. What uh, kind of what kind of dancing do you teach girls? That 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 <laughs> one's weird. No, it's not like that. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> There's a lot of fucking on that show. So. Yeah. There is. Yeah. You know, there was, yeah, that choreography was interesting, but yeah. The musical. Game of Thrones, the musical. It's Hell a comedy. yeah, man. It's that Kalisco's hot, man. <laughs> <laughs> you ever work with anybody famous? Yeah. Uh, I used to dance for Puff Daddy. What? MC Whoa. Hammer. Whoa. Paula, like all those Stop. people. Yeah. Wow. Th- those are I the did. two biggest names in music. How but about, uh, how about <laughs> you? <Yeah. laughs> 
<laughs> you ever do any work what? with uh, Lil Too Uzi Vert? I did not. No, no, no. Too legit tour? Be honest with us. I, I, uh, no. Adam's Family Groove? Where were you on that? <laughs> not in the scene yet. Right. How, how old were you when you were dancing for them? Um, ooh, 20s? P- Puff Daddy? Maybe? Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Did you sleep with Puff Daddy? Whoa. Did okay. I, I, I accidentally... I do a joke about it. I touched his thing by mistake once. You puffed his daddy. I oh. touched Diddy's Diddy, yes. I, I thought I told you that we yeah. won't stop. I thought I told you that we won't stop. <laughs> How the hell you know that song? I got How black long? friends, dude. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been doing stand-up comedy? Mm, like three years, maybe. Three years? Yeah. Hell yeah. You have fun with it? You do it a lot? I do. I like it a lot. Yeah. I do both. Either dance or this. So it's different, but it's fun. <laughs> I don't oh know what is God. happening back here. <laughs> Choose a line. There Well, or I'm there? trying to see all parties. That's all. Good Lord. Uh, yeah. Kim, what's your love life like? Uh, I'm married. How long have you been married for? Five years. What does he do? Uh, he's a producer. Whoa. Whoa. Has he produced anything that we would recognize? Anything from MC Hammer or... Uh, uh, Game of Thrones, the <laughs> musical, actually. <laughs> uh, no, he works for Facebook. He does the producing for the videos on that. Oh, oh. Seems like a great guy. Okay, I'm he, sorry, guys. <laughs> you're, married to Russian? you're married to a Russian? Yeah, I wish. <laughs> right. Man, this interview tastes but as good as tap water, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, Kim. From this angle point with the band behind you, this looks like one of my favorite episodes <laughs> of Dog the Bounty Hunter right now. Hell yeah, that's a real American right there, man. We're going to keep it moving along. There right. she goes, Thank Kim McVicker, everyone. Yeah. You never know. We're always one question away from those interviews sometimes, finding out something amazing. It happens once in a while. Just, you know, something like happened like, in that car. What does your husband do? And She's very nervous yeah. with the questioning. Yeah, the That's, car thing was, that was creepy. shocking. Yeah. Clearly a criminal. Yeah. I mean, something's up with that car. Right. She, she maybe hit somebody one night, like a hit yeah. and run, or something mm-hmm. like that. Like yeah. She has no insurance or something, maybe. Murdered children is what I'm thinking. Right, this looks like an interesting name. Put your hands together for Claude Claudie. Am I saying that right? Claude Claudie? Any, any version of that name, it's you. Well. Cloud, Claude Claudio? Looks, looks like a blacklisted. Is that, is that the person there, Cloud? Uh, yeah, I think Claude? that's. I think is that that's, that's, that's that you? That's your mom. He's coming time. here. Oh, here, here he is. Go. Well, he's just walking slow, also. Claude Claudio Jesus from Christ. all the way in the back. Yep. All right. He's from the, ba- the bad table. This paper boy needs to walk faster. One more time for Claude Claudio, everybody. Here he is. Sure, step right up. Yep. You, you see me all right, mate? Lovely. Wow, stop. Yep. All right. <laughs> Guys, oh, uh, shit, mate. What time is it? Okay, 56. Um... I haven't done stand-up in a while. I'm actually, he's supporting a mate upstairs, but uh, a mate of mine said, put your name down. So here we are. <clears throat> you don't understand the accent? That's all right, mate. I grew up in Australia. But uh, <clears throat> um, does anybody know where Dacia is? <laughs> Somebody's educated. Well, basically, the history of Dacia is... Um, where it ends, that's where I start. So I'm new to, I'm new to uh, LA, and I'm here to look at some comedians, and there they are, they're all there, mate. Guys, I love All right, there you go, Cloud Claudia. Wow. Great set. Thank you. I, I, I worked on that minute. Really like that one. Thank you. Claude, where are you visiting from? I uh, grew up in Sydney, talking to the Talking to the microphone. Sorry. Yes, where are you visiting from was the question. No, I live here now for the last sure. couple of years. You've been here for a couple of years? Yeah, two. Wow. 
you're, you're so, your accent and your demeanor is so just fucking landed today. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank on you. Earth. I'm on Earth. excited, man. You're so you know, overwhelmed I, at all times. Well, you were you, he sounds like a Russian trying to be Australian. Yeah. yeah. It's very confusing. Were you watching this show? Why were you so confused on how the format of the show was? It well, was um, first time here, like I said. Oh, no. Sure. I mean, geez. But, the, but you've been sitting here during the show that's been happening, right? Oh, no, right? I went to grab a couple of beers in between, mate. Oh. I'm thirsty. Yeah. But um, I see what you guys are doing, and it's awesome. You know what I do? Uh, let not, me guess. Not uh, comedy. Uh, <laughs> all right. First off, that sounded f- condescending right. as hell, what you just said. Really? Second, I hate the way this guy sounds. I don't know what it is about him. I freaking hate it, dude. Yeah. Awesome. The way the way that you said, do you want to know what I do? It's either is fucking. Is that how it sounded like? It's either oh, you're sorry, a fucking mate. magician or you take pictures of very possible. ugly chicks naked. Am I right? No way. I photograph right. the beautiful women. Nah. That's what it feels like. Really? Or I deliver the pizza. Wow. That's the, awesome, mate. Don't yeah. stop. The best Don't part. Stop. Keep it up. Dude, one yeah, thing I like up, with mate. this guy right here, what he's doing, he's killing you with kindness, and I love that, man. Go ahead, mate. You just keep it up. No, no they're laughing. I they're will my keep mates. It up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I do? I will keep it up. I'm what do you do? You like keep you. asking us. What do you do, man? Just tell I us what you do. I promote people like this guy on my left. You do what? He I promotes promote people, he like promotes you. people like you. In I, Sydney, in London, in Cardiff, in Berlin. Those are all cities. Yeah, I know. They're not in America, mate. Well, oh. don't touch the talent, man. Well, oh, yeah, thank I'm you. sorry, man. <laughs> thank you. So who wants to come perform? Listen, uh, I think I'm not the only one here who would agree that the best part about your set was when some crazy person got kicked out of the room. <laughs> wow. That, Dude, you know, that was great. He must be the same guy that I help every Monday. I help at the Valley. You yeah. know, I help the homeless get up off their nice. ass and get back into society. So, yeah, he was one of my mates. Is that right? Is that yeah, true? Definitely, sir. No. Really? Hope of the Valley. Every Hell no. Monday. That's my cousin Skeeter. He was drinking too much, yeah, man. I've seen him there, mate. All that shit. Tra- what is no, it? man. I saw him, man. What do you guys call it in America? Trailer trash? All your mates. All right. Uh, what Whoa. the Whoa. hell did you Whoa. just call me? Whoa. What, what the, the hell did you just call me? Uh, hey, party, what did you say? This immigrant coming into my country calling me trailer trash. I'm about your dick off right now. Well done. Well done. Well done. If you don't say you like Trump right now, I'm kicking you in the dick. What? You know about Trump, you know what the story is. I told my wife. Quit asking me questions like wife, some bridge throw and just tell me Australia. what you want, okay? What kind of so, sphinx is this guy trying to capture me with his eyes and like lead me into some kind of hypnosis? I ain't going for that queer hey, stuff. Listen, do you know what Trump just did the last last week, right? You know what the law he just passed since you know about your mate? Yeah, what did Trump do last week? Okay, well, didn't he just pass a crazy law that's going to make you guys into poverty within eight years? You know about that? Uh, no, I don't know that. All that exactly. I know is that right, Trump man. is making America great again, yep. okay? Mm. When yep. was so that just last hear time that, huh? What? Come on, mate. He's Why? mad. He's mad because he's not part of the greatness. That's all. Uh, yeah. Dude, yeah. this guy freaking gives him it. Well, don't stop, mate. This don't is stop what you're doing. Jimmy Pitt is who that is. I listen. It's it's unbelievable. You're like a you're like a heel version of some. Well, type listen, of man. Media. Google Dacha, and you see, I'm not joking. Where history ends is where I begin. That's why I'm here. Oh my God. Wow, when you came from Australia, Google did they that. make you check your douchebag? <laughs> this is incredible. USA! USA! Wow. Keep it up, guys. Keep You're just unbearable at every turn. It's USA. incredible. I almost want to keep the interview going just so that I could find out how horrible a human can be. Dude, if there's an alligator wow. pit right there, I'd kick your dick right into it, man. An alligator? There's even, no alligators even, in Australia, man. We go crocodiles. Even, You're in America. There's Woo! alligators here, Woo! bitch. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's get back to what Trump just did. You okay, know that? what did my favorite boy toy do? <laughs> all right. What? All right. Well, he just gave, from what I heard, he just gave all the judges a lot of power because they got rid of the bell. You know about that? Yeah, of course. Okay, so what's going to happen? What's he saying on national TV, mate? Quit asking me, like I said, and start telling me answers. All right, so I'm telling you. Let me, let me speak to somebody that might know. So what he's actually saying, he said... Don't turn your back on me, you freaking <laughs> son of a listen. bitch. 
Easy, coming baby, over here Easy, with your freaking boy. gypsy clothes and your yep. and your and your Slow freaking and your freaking newsy hat. Oh, oh I'm from goodness. Danish land. Okay, yeah, I can Which mix trailer up. Were you born in Woo. Detroit? Woo. Don't talk about was my mama's Detroit? trailer like that. Was Woo. it Detroit or was it Connecticut? I've been in Hartford. I've seen your kind, mate. So anyway, getting back you to see Donald Trump. That's racist. All right, let's That's get racist. back to Donald He's Trump. Donald Trump just passed a crazy law, and Are the illusion is... Are you trying to start is. a conspiracy theory no, 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 up right no, 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 no. now? He just passed it, mate. This Wait. happened last week. What happened? Basically, your judges uh -huh. has been given permission by Donald Trump uh -huh. to um, wave the bells. So what does that mean? He's saying that he's creating a balance between the rich and the poor. <laughs> but that's not what he's doing, man. Bingo! I'll tell you this. Our economy is up 4.3%. You son of a bitch. Go We're the goddamn richest, best, most artistic. We got it all figured out. Welcome to the greatest land on the planet. Where they and that's breed, why huh? you married into it, you little bitch. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't marry into it. I already did family, my man. math. Well, how do you get to stay here if you're a promoter in Australia and London? Finally, a reasonable question. Uh, well, oh, whoa. fuck oh. you. I take it back. <laughs> oh, come on, I don't want to know the answer to that anymore. Listen, whoa. mate, I'm an EU citizen, Australian citizen, and I got permanent green card. So yeah, Dutch I can do fucking Australia. anything, mate. Wow, you're the worst. Anything Dude. I can. You can do I'm the worst way what we do in eight years, man. It's all about art, you small minded children. Dude, it's all about <laughs> art. What do you do? Wait, what the hell? What Hold up. What do you do? Hold it's up. All about art. Unbelievable. Hold on. Hold up right now. Yes, it's sir. one thing to go after me because I might be a little bit more small minded, but you dare not go after Tony Hinchcliffe, you dumb bitch. Tony? Who? Sorry. Tony Hinchcliffe, the Golden Pony. Wow. And I swear to God, if you try to tell me that the earth is not flat right now, I'll murder you right here. Oh, my shit. Yep. yep. Oh, my shit. I heard about that. that oh, is my hilarious. God. You know, you know how arrogant, Tony, you you know how arrogant it is? To say you can do anything when you clearly just could not do stand-up comedy for <laughs> one minute. <laughs> Did you hear that? Thank you for that. Unbelievable. I appreciate you, mate. D thank you. I appreciate you. It's the well, last thing in the world I want is to be appreciated by a Russian, Dutch, Australian <laughs> criminal. I'm not Russian. Clearly you don't know where Dutch is, but that's okay, man. Look it up. Google that shit. Oh, man. So, Claude, let me ask you something. Yes, you came man. out here and you said that in eight years we're going to be uh, burnt to hell because no, we're I going never to said some that. dumb war, right? We're I never said that. But you what did you say? Stupid. What did you say? Something about judges. What's going to be different in eight years? Well, if this law stays in place, right? Talking to the tip of the Art. microphone. If this law You amazing stays artist promoter. <laughs> Don't forget it. It's Claudio. So, the thing is that... Mate, honestly, now this is serious, guys. Just stop and think logically. Finally, mate. something serious. It, it's <laughs> that's very serious. Well, I'm glad you guys are laughing because you'll be sorry, but that's okay. <laughs> Let me get my violins out, dude. Oh, this guy smells shittier than my sister's pussy, man. <laughs> you should know, right? I'm you gonna get know, him mate. out of here. There he goes, Claude Claudio. Oh my God. Woo. How loud can this place get right now for the great Jeremiah Watkins? Wow. Yes. God, it smells like quiche up here now. Man, feels good to win another world war, Jeremiah. <laughs> you did it, brother. You did it. I love it. Let's keep this fun train moving along. Put your hands together for Mary Ann Parker. Yeah. Mary Ann Parker. I heard a verbal, oh my God, that's usually a good sign. Oh my God. Seems like a new name. Here she comes. Man. Mary Ann Parker, everyone. Hello. I'm also an EU citizen, but I'm not a cunt. Uh, I just finished dating a dandy. 
Um, for those of you who don't know, a dandy is a man who looks and dresses like a homosexual, but is actually heterosexual. In America, you call it Ryan Seacrest. He always wanted to date me between the hours of 2 and 4 p.m. I would call it his heterosexual window. Uh, this is how it went down. Between 2 and 3, we'd have tea and cake. Very proper. Then between 3 and 3.50 would be all the unbuttoning of his dresses, his buttons, his baubles, his belts, and his cape. And then between 3.50 and 3.53, we would have intercourse. It's very meaningful. And then between 3.54 and 4 p.m. would be me looking all over the apartment for my dignity. <laughs> which was nestled right next to my self-worth. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I want you to read me the news in the morning. Okay. Yeah. That seemed like a commentary. It's a cool voice you have. Thank you. Yeah. It, it does. It sounds like, like the Directions voice. Yeah. On an app of some sort. Can you, also, say, can cool. you say make a left just ahead? Make a left just ahead. Wow. Oh my God, we got a celebrity in the house. It's Siri. It's her. It's the girl from Waze. Can you say, can you say take the next exit for Barham Boulevard? Take the next exit for Barham Boulevard. So good. Oh, that's incredible. <laughs> so good. You know what's funny? In the UK, the GPS is American. Whoa. Good. Really? Yeah. Jeremiah? Can you say Trump is the best president <laughs> ever? Trump is the best president ever. <laughs> wow. Okay, something's going on. I don't know why you start sounding like me, but that really got me going. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. So, Marianne, you're from England? From London, yeah. Yeah. How long you been in L.A.? Nine years. Nine years? Mm. Wow. These people are just coming over and staying in our country. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Build a wall. You pretty. You have a pretty strong accent still. Yeah. Can you talk American? Yeah. Like get rid of the accent completely. Get rid of the accent completely. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> pretty good. Witch, yeah, burn her, <laughs> burn <Shape> her, <laughs> shape shifter. You already have three more talents than Claude that was up here yeah. just a minute ago. And a bit about Brandon <laughs> from earlier. A dandy? Is that what you called him? Uh, what well, a, a dandy? dandy? Yeah. What does that mean? Well, it's like a guy that's like, well, the guy that it's I actually... It's a metrosexual, I think. It's a metrosexual, but yeah. the guy that I dated was a guy called Sebastian Horsley, and he had a top hat Sebastian and tails. Horsley. <laughs> <laughs> he had a top hat. Yes. You were dating the Monopoly man. Yeah, and he was barred from the United States for moral turpitude. For what? what okay. Moral turpitude. What it's is... Fuck kids. Hold on, I'm gonna let uh, I'm gonna let Jeremiah I'm gonna let Jeremiah ask the question because I don't want to sound dumb asking it. Okay, is turpitude when you leave a bad stinker and a Johnny on the spot? No. Okay, what is turpitude? It means that you're kind of morally wrong. Okay, and but a bit off. Okay, but how do you go to prison for that? You don't go to prison. He just got turned away and taken back to England yeah, because he wrote a book. He wrote a bad he, book. He wrote a bad book about drugs and prostitutes and Whoa, what did, stuff what did, like that. Like, well, what about drugs and prostitutes? So he believes that prostitution is a um, Blessing. Viable, viable income. You should right. have a viable job. So you basically were hooking up with a pimp. Yeah, but I think he also prostituted himself out, too. He, he, was, oh, also a, he was a male prostitute. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, How long were you with this guy for? Not very long. So do you have crusty britches now or mm. Oh my god. Brian. Crusty britches? No, don't don't try to don't try to figure it, sounded it out. Better wow. when she said it. <laughs> when you say you weren't with this guy very long, what do you mean? Was this like a one night stand? Was no, he died. What? Well, at least we can say his name now without feeling bad. Yeah. Wait, yeah, can you say it one more time? Sebastian, Sebastian Horsley. <laughs> wait. Wait, hold on. The guy who wrote a book about prostitution, his name was Sebastian Horsley. I know, isn't that? Yeah, you got it. <laughs> we actually have Sebastian on the line. <laughs> so stupid. Okay. How did he die? Heroin. Hilarious. Wow. <laughs> Love that. Why, uh, Tony, I got a question. Yes. Why did a female superhero kill him? How did a female super? Go on. How? 
He's saying that you look like a female superhero. No, she. No, she, oh. you said heroin killed him. All right, moving on. <laughs> oh wow, wow. Oh, that's smarter than maybe what I look like. Oh my god. Man, I, you're, you're dealing in homonyms back there. Yeah. I guess so. <laughs> Tell me, should have tried meth instead of heroin. This is, you can stay alive on that oh, way that's longer. Bad yep. stuff. He'd be alive and cleaning. Yes, he'd be awake. So Marianne, I mean that's crazy. Uh, what do you What do you do for work? Personal training. Personal training. And why were you hanging out? Do you hang out with a lot of crazy guys that are into like pimp, pimping and heroin? I got so excited I stuttered yeah. on the word pimp. I said pimp pimping. Yeah, I have. I've been known to meet some colorful people. Yeah. Racist. <laughs> <laughs> Is this on your way to kill Bill or? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Jesus, two for two. God damn. Joelberg Joel over here. You're. Uh, you throw them out there sometimes, <laughs> they don't work. Your reaches tonight are more stretched out than Eddie Murphy's dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I got, a good, I got a good reach. Oh, my God. Jesse Johnson. Marianne, what's another fun fact about you? You seem like a woman of many uh, fantastic things. You hang out with guys named Sebastian Hoxley awesome. and whatever. Um, I go to Mosaic Church on Hollywood and La Brea, and I love that church. Oh, you, you go there? Yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. Scientology or something like that? No. No, man. It's no. called Christianity. It's Heard of it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the way. The path. You go to church? Yeah. Hell yeah. So I like hang out and do all the kind of moral wrong things, and then I go to church to feel better about myself. Classic Christianity. <laughs> Country girl, shake it for me now. Shake it for me now. Shake it for me. Whoa. Wow. That actually worked. Uh, yeah. It always works, it's, it's man. Ca it's called a white trash spell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Marianne. Well, that's fun. You go to Mosaic Church. That's the most uh, fun, interesting thing about you? Anything, mm, anything else crazy? It's a fun, most interesting thing about me. Um, you have any special skills or talents? Look at or that front like pocket that? work. Skills? <laughs> or talent? Yeah, right? Yeah, what, what happened? Yeah, there? what do you look like? You, um, it's really shoved in there. It looks like a little cat paw. It's like a, re it's yeah. a retard yeah. pocket is what that is. A retard <laughs> paw. You couldn't even put anything in that pocket if you wanted to. I probably... No, okay. maybe not. No. Uh, all right, Marianne. Well, other than your tiny pockets, I guess that's pretty much it. Thank you very it's much. Nice to meet you. There nice she is, Marianne Parker. Yeah. Sebastian. Hopefully. Back to the bucket we go. Sebastian is smiling down on us all right now. Oh, yeah, for sure. Just needles hanging out of his arm up in heaven, just <sighs> fucking shooting up. Can't OD in heaven. That's what I always say. I wonder if that's what heaven's like. Like, I mean, I wonder what the limits are on that whole, like, heaven Christianity thing. Like, if, it, if they're right and, like, there really is a heaven and everything, like, what is it? You just, like, shoot up heroin all you want? Is my my last like two jokes would have worked in heaven for sure. <laughs> If it's the he if it's my heaven, those jokes are fucking killing, the, dude. Those were solid gold, man. Those that's, jokes are your heaven, though. That's not on you. That's on the audience. Oh that's right. In heaven, those jokes kill. Hey, man, I don't I don't think your drummer's as white as you think. <laughs> I it, it gets, the summers get hot down here. God damn it, man! I had a suspicion about that. He yeah. kept telling me that that he stayed outside the shed too long. Yeah, yeah. they locked me out of the motorhome. Sorry. Look, man. All I'm saying is, if Trump is right. We gotta watch our backs, all right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, I pulled a name out. Uh, you guys ready for this? You get it? You want? You having fun here tonight? What's going on? It's a big live show. This looks like a new name. Make some noise for Haley Hackett. Haley yeah. Hackett. Oh wow, there she is. Double H. Finally, somebody close. So I believed in Santa Claus for a while, and eventually I saw my dad putting Christmas presents out by the Christmas tree, and I was like, nope, Santa Claus is a lie. I'm done. And I told him aggressively. I was like, Santa Claus, lie, done. He loved Santa Claus, and he wanted me to believe it so badly, he made me like call a hotline. Like To this day, he still asked me if I want to get my picture with Santa Claus at the malls. He's like, come on sit on his lap. I'm like, I am 21 years old. This is inappropriate. He doesn't understand that. Anyways, so <laughs> one day, my, how do I put this? My dad is Puerto Rican, so I guess I'm Puerto Rican too. And 
in Puerto Rico, I don't look it, so um, we put out like grass and water for the reindeer. And we were putting it out, and I had told him aggressively, I don't believe in it. I walked out one day, and there was grass everywhere, water everywhere, the TV was gone, all the furniture were thrown out, and my dad, without missing a beat, walks out and goes, that is the last time I let Santa Claus bring those damn reindeer into this house. All right. Do you mind if I finish? Do you mind if I finish? Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> 20 seconds after the Yeah, the no. So really finish recently, it. I was like, hey, Dad, remember that time the reindeer fucked up our house? And he was like, no, Haley, we got robbed. That's what happened. Uh, all right, all right. Thank God we finished. I'm yeah. so sorry. Uh, Jeremiah Watkins. I think that we can all agree that we stopped liking you when you said you were Puerto Rican. <laughs> <laughs> it was incredible. Did you let me? It's ask only you, half. Haley, is this your, this is what you, your first time yeah. ever doing stand up? Um, actually, I did potluck back there, but this is also like first first so, day. It's the first day of comedy. Well, there you go. <laughs> How to go in there? Same way. <laughs> well, let me Pretty ask you a question. Early. Were you expecting uh, that much of a laugh on the part where you said, my dad's Puerto Rican, so I guess that makes me Puerto Rican? <laughs> Were you expecting that to be the highlight of your set, or did you um, think that last joke that two people giggled at because they didn't want to hurt your feelings? I feel like, honestly, that's been the laugh of my life. Like, people used to come up to me on the bus and ask me if he was my dad or if I was adopted. Like, he'd be like, do you know this man? I'd be like, yes, this is my dad. Are you positive he's your dad? Oh. <sighs> Do you, you have some suspicions about a, it? That's a, a weird lot. answer. He convinces, he's like, you are my daughter. I have this round face, and yeah. that's about it. Well, moon face. Man. Yeah, it's a 360. That's what some guy told me once. He's like, you have a 360 degree face. It's like, thank you. Wow. Yeah. She yeah. reminds me of a lot of uh, girls who were kidnapped and raised <gasps> by their kidnappers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This Puerto Rican uh, daddy yours ever. Uh, <laughs> Tell us about the dungeon you grew up in. Well, <laughs> my parents yeah. were actually divorced, and my mom raised me mostly. Yeah. My dad walked out. You ever ask your your Puerto Rican dad walked out on your yeah, white a little mom? Bit. No, no, there's no way that that could have possibly have ever happened. Yep. Uh. Yeah. It's accurate. What? It's accurate. Anyway, yeah, no. <laughs> truth i'm just repeating back what you said to me yeah so the puerto rican dad walks out how old were you when that happens mm, four 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 then he came back for a while he left for a while oh. came back for a while yeah we're good now <laughs> so what was that last thing you said we're, we're good now right of course. yeah you know yeah, that's what happens. when you were listens to this. when you were 15 did you have one of those queso yeros do i have quinceaneras no. My what grandma, you, you have to be Catholic for it. Quinceaneras? Uh, okay, so Yero, you know? No, I know what you yeah. said. I'm wondering what she said. Yeah, me too. Quinceanera. No. Yeah. I didn't have one. Yeah. What's your mom's story? Quinceanera, what are we ordering? Taco Bell what right now? Mean? What's going on? <laughs> that don't make no sense. It's queso Yero. <laughs> queso Yero? That's like cheese. Queso? Dude, she's right. half Puerto Rican. You can hit her if you want. But I'll fight back. No, don't do it. Oh, okay. Woo. Woo. I'm half Puerto Rican. I'll fight back. Just saying. So, Haley, uh, this is your first night ever doing stand-up comedy. Uh, what made you want to start? How old are you? I'm 21. Uh, I do not believe That's that. That's like a Rick Ingram joke, if yeah. I ever heard one. What yeah. do you mean you don't believe it? Um, so, do you have a job? I just moved here, so I am currently unemployed. Anyone looking? Where'd you move here from? Uh, I moved here from D.C. D.C.? Yeah, District of Columbia. Uh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> she clarified D.C. for you. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the comic book franchise. No. No. <laughs> I didn't come from a comic book. Uh, wow. I mean, that's incredible. So how long have you been here from D.C.? Three weeks. Three weeks, and you're already a member of the Lollipop Guild. Yeah. yeah. It was a hard introduction, honestly. What? The introduction to the Lollipop Guild. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah that was, did, have you taken an she, you took an improv course somewhere? She's, no. <laughs> she's good it with the It was a tax. good introduction. Hit me with another one, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Her, I didn't pay $60 to that guy for nothing. Oh, my goodness. Her specialty are the tags, as you can tell by her finishing the joke at the end. I don't there. even know what tags are. <laughs> don't worry uh, about okay. it. Okay. 
I'll go to West later. Hollywood. First day. I'm here. All right. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, Haley, what's been the biggest culture shock from you coming from D.C.? Cocaine. Whoa. Oh, she you just got a lot cooler. Have you been doing it or hanging out with people that no, do it? I watched someone do it the other day. Whoa. That was like a highlight. <laughs> wow. I, was really, I felt like I needed to feel like I was in California. You watched? So, <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to do it. It felt like too much commitment. So I was like, could I watch you do cocaine? <laughs> <laughs> too much commitment. Wow. wow. That's the problem with Coke. Every time you do it, just too much commitment. Too much? Like, you just snort too hard? Thunder bumps till the day I die. <laughs> <laughs> so you watched a person do it? Yeah. Wow. And this was here in L.A.? Yes. And that was a few weeks ago? That was like two got days here? ago. Guy two or girl? Ago. Boy. Boy. Boy, you're, she's you're, not 21. For you're sure. hanging out yeah. with this guy. <laughs> yeah, a yeah, well, oh boy. Was it, was it during third <laughs> period? <laughs> no. I, I don't even think she's had her third I, I period know. yet. No. 21. Who's hey. this guy you're watching do cocaine? No. Wait a second. Was this Dude. Abraham Abraham Huxley? <laughs> what was his fucking name? Arthur. Or fuck. It was it was her friend Sandra. She did a line off my penis. <laughs> no. So wow, and uh, <laughs> all right. I'm just spinning what, what did over. Your, what did your friend who did the cocaine? What they do after they did the blow? I asked them how they felt, and they're like, "On top of the fucking world." And I was like, "Nope, I would get addicted so easily. Not I doing can it." See that. I yep. can see that. Are you addicted to anything else? Coffee. Yeah. What Chris. else? Sex. Oh. Really? Is that true? What's your favorite Let's position? Let's get Brandon back up here. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 not like that. We're, we're going to change his I life regret forever. Everything. Did you Listen, did you see Brandon earlier? If you, you fuck Brandon, I'm straight. There won't right. be a school shooting tomorrow. <laughs> this is the only That's chance true. we have. Is Brandon still here? Save yeah, the world. Look, look for the biggest loser hanging out with black guys in the room. Ha, Brandon, you can Dude, say that you. I took your virginity, but like, I'm okay. All right. You know? Wow. She d that's, sadder, that's the saddest thing I've ever seen in my life. I, w I wish I could replay it in slow motion. She just said, you can say <laughs> that I took your virginity, <laughs> but I'm okay. Yeah. Wow. She offered up. Not only did she turn him down, she gave him, like, here's something you can lie about. <laughs> just, wow. It's that a nice touch. I'm yeah, just waiting no, I for loved my fourth it. period you, you, to be adventurous. You, you know? at least got a squad on it. Come on, man. I have to do what? You at least got a squat on his wiener. Squat? Whoa. You got whoa. a squat on it for it to count. Jesus, it. Give it a friggin' squatty potty. Squat. Give it the real thing. He I'm doesn't aware. pronounce his T's. Squat. Squat. Gotcha. All right. Same it's funny thing. that your name's Haley Hackett because you seem like sort of like a weird like Haley Hackett type. Like that seems that name seems like a double fits H. You. That's what, what I is call it? Her. What's weird about it? Uh, you changed your name from Annabelle. That's what. Oh. You're the funniest woman haunted doll we've ever had on yeah. this show. <laughs> we, dude, I saw that movie though. Spot on, man. Oh my god, that terrified me. Back in the game. You ever do that? You ever fuck Back. with people because you look scary yes, like that? Yes, 100%. You ever just stand over, you just watch people sleep while sitting in a rocking chair or something like that? No, I did get typecasted in like every theater play possible as a ghost though. Right. Yeah, because yeah. that beautiful white skin you got there. <laughs> oh, God. All right, Haley. We're going to get you out of here. Yeah. There she goes, Haley Hackett. Thank you all. Wow. You know, Rick, you've been on the show a couple few times. We've yeah. always had a regular on the show. Usually right. in the his, in the past, it was always uh, we would we had a couple it, young ladies. It was, yeah, it was usually yeah. chicks that yeah. Brian was trying to hook up with. <laughs> 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 Horse of truth. Uh, but now we have a uh, now we have a guy. He's, Whoa. he's unbelievable. He's so funny. He's opening up for me this weekend in La Jolla. I'm so excited for it. Uh, and he writes and performs a brand new minute every single week on this show. Everybody loves him. Make some noise, everybody. Here he is with a brand new minute. It's Malcolm Hatchet. What's up, y'all? I was back there eating chicken wings. You ever get on the bus and you got a bus card, but you don't got no more bus swipes? 
So you try to get louder than the eh, eh. <laughs> I got on the bus early, I was like, Bloop. <laughs> Bus driver was like, you all right? I said, yeah, I got Tourette's. Bloop. I blame L.A. traffic for homeless people. You ever been in traffic so long you get out the car and say, man, the hell with life. <laughs> I was in traffic the other day. I seen this white dude get out of Mercedes Benz. Seen him at the park two days later. I was like, hey, bro, what happened? He was like, the 101 South. He was like, why you here? Shit, the 405 fucked me up. Thank you. <laughs> there it is. Another brand new minute. Hell yeah. Looking good. What's up, man? Uh, so that's fun. Another brand new minute. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. How's life? Chilling. That chicken good. They got some good chicken here, man. Y wait, you're eating the comedy store's chicken? No, Malcolm. Oh, don't no. do this. Shit, I ain't buy it. My homeboy bought it. No, no, no. What I like is uh, just in physical appearance, he looks like... Uh, if you took every in living color character. Oh, that was one of my favorite shows. <laughs> Mixed them into one. Yeah. It's a little bit of everybody. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm excited to find out. We've all seen you before, Malcolm, but I'm excited to see what uh, White Trash Jeremiah thinks about, uh, I mean, your undeniable performance here tonight. I mean, you know, he said some relatable things. <laughs> <laughs> You, you've been on a bus before. Maybe. <laughs> His timing was good. I mean, he made me laugh. <laughs> Listen, I don't like to admit this stuff, but that guy was good, okay? Whoa, look at that. Why are your fingers crossed? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, so, Malcolm, we're going to La Jolla together this weekend. Heck yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, it's going to be fun. You're going to be eating better things than comedy store chicken. How much of it did you eat? Yeah, you're going to be eating La Jolla comedy store chicken. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, got to be humble. Yeah. Uh, I ate like two of them. What else is going on in life? What else is happening? Uh, Still living in your car? Yeah, I'll be at my friend's house too. I'll be walking around naked. Which friend? My friend Jalen. She real nice. Oh, okay. She funny too. Does she, do you walk around naked when she's No, nah, I walk house? around naked because she got a roommate. Oh. So I try to be respectful because I don't want to go back to the car. Right. <laughs> That's smart, man. Uh, but, yeah, I've been chilling. <laughs> I start another job tomorrow. Oh, you start another job I tomorrow? actually have an interview tomorrow, but a job called me today. It was like, hey, you want to come tomorrow? So I'm going to just... For those of you that don't know, Malcolm is famous for uh, continuously weekly getting new jobs and then uh, either quitting or immediately getting fired uh, and then quitting after they tell him he's fired. Yeah, his last one lasted <laughs> two days. I, I, was, I was curious how you start a new job and then have to take off next weekend. <laughs> right, this Hoya. weekend. Oh, they he's said... Uh, he's, either getting, he's either getting fired or quitting before Friday. No, nah, they're going to let me work early. I already let them know. I put my laws down on them. They was like, just come in earlier. Early on it, what day? Friday so I can go to San Diego on time. What time are you working until? Well, Friday, I work from 6 to 2, but normally it's 8 to 4.30. If I would have did 8 to 4.30, I would have been in traffic and then I would have went homeless uh, again. White Trash Jeremiah has bad news for you. He's actually yeah. taken that drive from uh, L.A. to San Diego a few times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Friday you, you were talking about the 101, the 405. <laughs> Get ready for Fridays. <laughs> you got to leave earlier than that, man. Yeah, you might Like noon, leave. latest. Or I might just quit Thursday then. <laughs> Mark. I knew I liked this guy. <laughs> so perfect. <laughs> Hired. What is the jo what is the job? Uh, it's it's a, a warehouse. It's just boxing shit and uh taping it up. It's some simple. Oh shit. yeah, you're gonna you're, you're gonna quit. That. Hey, you wanna yeah. know what's crazy? I had an interview the other day at a a, a warehouse and they uh they shipped out sex toys. A men's warehouse. <laughs> I tried. They didn't call did you, me back, though. Did you handle any dildos or anything? Nah, they didn't even take me back there because I was too excited about everything. <laughs> they didn't yeah. even call me back. <laughs> yeah, you don't, want, you don't want your employees getting that excited yeah. about that kind of thing. <laughs> Malcolm, this girl that, let, this girl that uh, you're living with, is that like a uh, friends with benefits type of a relationship? Well, we friends. We like help each other like grind harder. Like she helped me out with my <laughs> minute today. Hell yeah. I like yeah. the way that sounds. Against the refrigerator. Well... 
Yeah. What do, what do you mean by that? What like, we just up all day just writing jokes and stuff. It's just real cool. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Oh, she's a comedian Yeah, as well. she's real funny. I don't like lick her feet or nothing. What is... <laughs> What is the roommate do? Oh, the roommate, she uh, she she do like she an actor and she work a job, and uh, she stare at me a lot, like you. <laughs> I guess so. Exactly. I told him. <laughs> I mean, uh, I have to look yeah. at the people that are on this show, Malcolm. It's yeah, not really uh, staring. <laughs> nah, they cool. They real cool. Huh. When does she stare at you? Weird times? Like when uh, I'm coming in and I just walk by, because I be staring at her, so we just be catching eye contact. Oh. It ain't no, no freaky shit. I think I just be having on no nice outfits, and she want to know where I shop at. That's probably it. Y'all well, like Malcolm, I'm excited about things. Another fun new, uh, another brand new minute exactly about L.A. traffic. Uh, we're going to have fun. It's a hot topic. Yeah. yeah. You, don't, a... you don't hear a lot of traffic jokes in L.A. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been doing the show now? A Kill Tony? Yeah. Since like February 18th. I think it was my first time. Yeah. So March, April, August. Six Dude, months. it's 11. Almost seven. It's almost seven months. Six months. I love it. 11. And uh, Malcolm is months. also That's going to uh, Lansing, Grand Rapids, and Detroit with us, doing all the Kill Tonys. Hell yeah. and it, you're gonna write. You're gonna write a new minute. New minute. A new minute for each of those cities. It probably be my best each minute Each episode. Ever. Yeah. I love it. How about that? Another hand for uh, Malcolm Hatch, Whoa. everybody. <laughs> what do you guys think? Go back to the bucket, huh? Meet another goddamn human being. I, th I think Brian has a chance with him. <laughs> what? Red Band? Me? Don't worry about it. What am I? <laughs> <laughs> I pulled a name out of the bucket. Let's do it. Ricky Masias. Is that a name? Yeah. Ricky Masias. It's if your name's Ricky and your last comes. name begins with an M, it's you. Here, Here he, he comes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Come on, make some noise. It's Ricky, everyone. Thank you, thank you. Good to be here. I try to be aware of how I look. I have long hair. I like it. Uh, but dudes get weird when they see you from behind. They do. They really do. They're like, oh, you look like a lady. I'm like, I'm trying to order lunch. <laughs> Please leave me alone. Um, it's weird, you know. <laughs> Heavy long hair. One time I was outside of a bar and a dude came up to me, another dude with long hair, and he gave me a side hug. And he said he missed me. Yeah, I didn't know who he was. I did not. I am not your ex-girlfriend. Also, me three. Also, me three. Sometimes women will compliment me. That's the intended purpose of this, you know. But sometimes they'll compliment me in a jealous way. I'm like, and it helped me understand female competition. I was like, <laughs> what? Did your man say something or what? <laughs> Just, I don't know, you know. Thank you. Oh yeah. Yeah. Ricky Macias, everyone. Oh, wow. You look like a chick uh, from <laughs> the front side, too. <laughs> That's incredible. Tony, can we find out what this thing is? Because I am sexually confused right now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this was... Uh, I'm pretty sure I know, I know you. You were the lead character on Blossom, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. You look like uh, you look like uh, Howard Stern's son if you put him in the microwave. <laughs> what are you? I'm Mexican. Half Mexican, half Jewish? No. No? no? What are you? Half Mexican, half? Uh, just Spanish and indigenous. Full S Mexican. What is indigenous? <laughs> it's There's those cowards we stole this land from. <laughs> 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 Fuck yeah. So, wow, that's interesting. How old are you, Ricky? I'm 29. 29 years old. How long have you been on stand-up? Five and a half years. Five and a half years. Where at? Uh, San Gabriel Valley, mostly. Dip into L.A. a little bit. Okay. You play a lot of video games? Yeah. <laughs> you can totally tell. Yeah. <laughs> you have a general demographic for the guys on this show. It's either a lot of video games or will kill somebody at some point in their life. 
or shrunken Joey Ramone. I don't know. I don't know. Nice. <laughs> it's okay. We're still rocking and rolling, baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. So, Ricky, what are you, you're 29 years old. What do you do for work? Uh, it Computer sounds... programmer. No, no. Uh, almost. Um, uh, it talks. sounds fancier than is is aerospace machining. Just a lot of metal shit. So what do you do with the metal? Um, cut it. Burn it. <laughs> uh, form it. Just shit, sand Bop it. Bop it. Bop it, twist it. <laughs> lick it, whatever, you know. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah, I played that game. <laughs> so you work, with, uh, you work with a lot of metal? Yeah. Um, all right. <laughs> what kind of music do you listen to? Um, Scanner. Kid Rock. It's, it's, it's easier to listen to like list Dixie artists. Chicks. I don't know how to categorize it. Radiohead, Deftones, uh, the Mars Volta. Why Stuff to clapping? sleep to. Yeah, pretty much. Right. Garth I Brooks? I don't know the category. Kane Chesney? <laughs> it's funny because you just don't seem Mexican to me. I get that a lot. I, my Spanish is surprisingly... It's, I still have an accent. Your Spanish is surprisingly what? Jewish? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> hey. Eastern you European look, Jew. Oi, like, you know, just... Um, that was no one's ever told you this before? No, I get that. Have you that ever all, seen a I, Jewish person before? I get that. Even other Jews come up to me. <laughs> They're like, are you right. Jewish? Like, no. <laughs> yeah. Keith Urban, Crosby, Stills, and Nash. <laughs> wow. Well, Ricky, I mean, that's a good thing. Looking Jewish can help you in life. I'm pretty sure my high-profile agents think I'm Jewish. And uh, <laughs> still works. Ricky, what else is going on in life? You seem like you have other fun uh, skills and talents. Um, Anything other than video games? What's your video game of choice? Oh, God. You um, can just rattle off the first three that came Metroid, to Metroid, Excite Bite. <laughs> <laughs> the heavy Excite Bite player, a top ten. Um, no, uh, God, it's embarrassing. World of Warcraft. Um, and you really Enter the gungeon. How long you've been playing World of Warcraft? Yes, forever. Since uh, the beginning? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. My God. Since the beginning of time. Yeah. Uh, so, Ricky, uh, let's talk about it. All the pussy. You getting it? Yeah. How does that work? You meet girls in, like, Fortnite or whatever? Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty simple. You just I'm going to jump over to you. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, when you're a top-level wizard, you can fuck anyone you want. <laughs> what, uh, what, uh, what's the deal with that? Do you have a girlfriend? No, no girlfriend. Uh, you a uh, virgin? No. You have a steady income of puss-puss? Yeah, what? for me, I guess. <laughs> for you? So once every eight years? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tonight on 2020, do you have a steady income of puss-puss? <laughs> Did you meet this? Five and a half years I've been doing this show. I have to like ask things differently <laughs> once in a while. I try to keep it fresh. Hey, how's the puss puss? <laughs> Do you get your puss puss from World of Warcraft? Or are they like. No, no. Oh, Jesus. So the last girl you hooked up with, like, what was that like? Where'd you meet her? Was that a Tinder date or something? Some app. Yeah, some app. Yeah. That you developed or what? <laughs> 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 what's, uh, what's the. It was, a, it was a, like a kink app. Yeah, wh 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 yeah, two in the pink, one in the stink. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What's the what's the hair situation? How long you been growing it? What does it take to get it like this? Uh, three years and don't put shit in it. Um, I feel like earlier today you had short hair and then you used Head and Shoulders <laughs> once and uh, just a little bit, you know, just commercials. No. Yeah. Uh, okay, so on this app that you hooked, you met up with this chick from a dating app. Who catfished who? Um. <laughs> It was, it was probably one of the middle school students that was up here earlier. <laughs> and by the way, he's laughing pretty hard at this. It makes me think that it's a little, you know, little no, that's both double catfishing going on. Did you guys both yeah. settle for the uh, broiled halibut? We, uh, we both reversed catfish. We were, <laughs> we guys, <laughs> that's what do you call when both people catfish each other? It's just halibut. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this app's called Kink. Are you, like, into, like, bondage and stuff, like dildos in the ass and stuff? Things like that. I mean, Jesus! You had <laughs> you, you asked the question that you wanted to ask in bondage. <laughs> you had to really spell it out. Are you Dilt into so pegging? That's, that's huh? what. Are you into pegging? No, not personally. 
So, Damn it. So, but you'll do it if, if they're into it. I, I'm not sure yet, but maybe. Do you have to wear a latex mask uh, in order to maintain an erection? And if so, when you, <laughs> no. have, when you put that leather la- mask on, uh, do you put your glasses on over it? <laughs> over the, yeah. <laughs> Slave uh, mask. It's a lot glasses. of removing glasses and tying hair up. That's what. The <laughs> What's you, the, do you have any special moves uh, sexually in the bedroom? Anything you do? <laughs> <laughs> Is there something you do? Like you ever, you ever he, noodle? He he huh? uses he uses another guy's dick to have sex. <laughs> 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 Man, where did this come from? You look, you look like Millhouse got into metal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there you go. There it is. There it is. God damn. Look who finally found his footing. Uh, <laughs> one hour, 40 minutes into the show. Hey, we're rocking and rolling, baby. Rocking and rolling, Sometimes man. it takes a little while to walk. Not bad for tan track. You know what I'm Jay, saying? We're yeah. here, baby. Hey, man, not all docks float, man. <laughs> True. Ooh. All right, Ricky, before I let you go, uh, um, wait, what is your fetish? What, what's your thing? Uh, just being dominant, pretty much. Whoa, oh, now we're freaking on this on, dude. Be, being dominated or dominant? Being dominant. Oh, you're, you're, th- you're the dominant one. Yeah, it, life's got to balance out somewhere, you well, know? Just, you uh, <laughs> wow. So, what do you do? Just beat the shit out of them? <laughs> Do you choke a bitch? Do you like? Do you like? Yeah, do you yeah. like choking? Yes, yeah. you do like choking. He said earlier he's full Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So Ricky, what's the craziest? Now that we've gotten to this full uh, dominating thing, what's the craziest thing you've ever done to a woman in the bedroom? Final question. If you answer it good, I'll let you go. If you don't answer it good, I'm gonna keep you here and ask you about your fucking parents. <laughs> Uh, well, as far as that stuff goes, I'm actually more vanilla, like, but just choking and shit, and being rough, just like, being rough. I mean, yeah, it's pretty. I mean, choking and shit, and by no, shit. <laughs> no, no, not. You ever give a, ask? You ever huh? give a girl a black eye and be like, "Where's your half of the rent?" <laughs> <laughs> no. There he goes, Ricky Macias, Thanks. everybody, wow. come on. What do you guys think? Just one more time? Do a quick one. Yeah. Well, real quick, though. Where do you yeah. think that guy finds the corpses that he's dominating? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I don't get the choking thing, man. That's uh, that's I, fucked up shit. You like the choking? That do, no, I'm not into the choking. Yeah. I, I, I like, you know, putting a penis into the vagina. Right. That's my thing. Yeah. I like women. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This looks like the kind of name that would be fun to end a show with. Put your hands together for Dan Donahue. Yeah. <laughs> Dan Double D. Donahue. Double D's. Yeah, look at this motivation. Yeah. There he is. Come on, your final comedian of the night, Dan Donahue. Yeah. Uh. What's up, everybody? Uh, I was in special ed growing up. Uh, any other, uh, any other Ed Heads in the building? We got any Ed Heads in the room tonight? Anyone? All right, just me. That's fine. Uh, I was in Special Ed. Special Ed was great. Uh, the only issue I had with it was it gave me too much confidence. Uh, I now just have too much. You can only be told you're special so many times until it destroys your life. Uh, I was even too confident back then, like, I would, I would walk down the hallway and see cool kids from regular class and just disrespect them because I didn't think they were as cool as the kids in special ed. So like I would walk down the hallway, see a cool kid from re- regular class, and I'd be like, yeah, whatever, dude. Sure, you can walk the walk, but can you bite the teacher? <laughs> Coward. That's it for me. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Hell yeah. 56 seconds from Dan Donahue. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, I'm pretty good, man. How are you? Oh, yeah. This is your first time on the show, right? Second time, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wow. don't remember this retard from his last show? <laughs> <Wow. laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Tony? I, I never forget a retard. That's my specialty. <laughs> you look like an oxygen-deprived version of one of the Franco brothers. 
Tony. La last time uh, he said I looked like Dave Franco got hit in the head with a shovel. So oh, there Yo, you go. Pretty good. You look, yeah. you look like if Freddie Mercury was one of the Wahlberg brothers. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. So I'm from Boston, baby. Boston strong. Let's do it. All right. Terrible city. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> we're, we're kinda, yeah. Yeah. I agree. So what you're really you were really in special ed? Oh yeah, whole life. What what what's the deal, man? <laughs> yeah, what did they find out? I, you I'm don't seem retarded, that's why I ask. Like, no, I understand. You have yeah. learning sort of. I, I'd say he learning seems a little retarded. A little, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was mostly like writing, but they put kids with learning disabilities with like kids with emotional stuff right. or whatever. So yeah, it you're was really wild, emotional. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you were. punched a lot of walls as a kid, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> How about now? What's some of the crazy <laughs> stuff you do now? Uh, not much, man. I just, uh, I flew across the country uh, to get a girl I met like like a couple months ago, dog, and like move her out here. You're that a pilot? Wild. What's that? Oh, Nothing. God. There you go. Yes, if you were a back to the beginning. Yeah, back to iceberg. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, that was cold, man. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> there we go, baby. Uh, so, Dan, let me ask you a question. Can you do me a favor? Please. Can you say... Uh, oh, here we go. Would you like salads or sandwiches? <laughs> go ahead. Don't overthink it. Would you like salads or sandwiches? All right. You really tried hard on that one. <laughs> Double D. Really, Training kicked I, in, baby. I, I Training kicked in. I guess when you in. clear your throat beforehand, you can <laughs> do anything. You That's summoned your retard do. strength to uh, <laughs> be able to say that properly. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. So, Dan, how long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, about three years now. Do you think uh, doing stand-up helps the voices in your head? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. It quells them a little bit. What do you do for them. work? Uh, I work as a physical therapy aide. Who are you helping? Not yourself. <laughs> Not myself at all, no. Uh, mostly, like, old people. Like, it's a lot of old people. Wow. Yeah. A Pe lot of people who don't like, yeah, old people mostly. Just let them die, man. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> and you graduated with a degree in that from <laughs> you went from special ed right to physical therapist? That's no, it? I I actually I, I went to college, weirdly enough, and then uh Where'd you go? Uh UMass Amherst. Great yeah. school. <laughs> what one, of, one of the best retard programs. A hundred percent, no. <laughs> yeah. It was great. Yeah. And, uh, no, I had a communication degree, but there's, like, no vetting process for physical, physical therapy is, aids. Is UMass Amherst anywhere near Swansea, Massachusetts? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, we're going to be there on uh, November 9th doing oh, a gigantic yeah, venue. Dude. Huge venue. I think it's, like, a 1,000 yeah. gigantic twelve hundred. So, please, if you know anybody that lives anywhere near <laughs> Providence, Boston, really yeah. anywhere anywhere near Swansea, Massachusetts, within yeah. perhaps like six hours of yeah. Massachusetts, please go to that show. Now that's what I call a retard booking right there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's pretty incredible. You know what would be great? Maybe you could get Claude Claudio to promote that shit for you. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> Just a thousand arrogant foreign motherfuckers. You, th you, think I, you think I will help you after how you cheated me up there? Do you know what I do? <laughs> do you know what I do? What do you do? Just tell us what you do. Yeah. He asks questions. That's his thing. I make the art so that when your country burns... <laughs> Piece of shit. Yeah, yeah man. Suck <laughs> our dicks, bro. Yeah. USA, baby. What, why'd you pick Amherst? Did you not get into Worcester Community College? <laughs> I was this close, man. I oh, was this God. close. I saw my handwriting. They were like, no, nope, you mess. So you're a physical therapist. You work with mostly old people. What do you do for fun? Um, I mean, other than this, I do a lot of yoga, which is pretty... <laughs> yeah, I did. Pretty similar to special ed, but... Yeah, other than yoga, I mean, what do you do? You ever get turned up with your friends? Uh, not a ton. No, I don't drink a lot. I what's don't know. Your, uh, what's your uh, What's your situation like with the old uh, puss puss? <laughs> <laughs> I like this new Tony. <laughs> what do you mean new Tony? You, you, you ever get the, you, you ever get your Peter smoked? What What do you do over there? <laughs> what I like about puss puss is at first when you say puss, people are like, "What does he mean?" Yeah, yeah. yeah. But then you hit him with the second puss. It's oh, like, yeah. oh, I get it, dude. Like Hell that. yeah! It's like the lips, like two lips. It's like puss puss. Got it. I pick up what you're saying. Oh, he, yeah. He's better looking than 
the other contestants. Yeah, for sure. When it comes to the puss puss, I think you no. uh, girls definitely pretty good. they prefer yeah. a good looking retard. A hundred percent over <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, one of those uh, the aerospace guy or whoever the fuck that yeah. was. I'm sure he does all right too, but yeah, you could basically say anything to a chick with your good looks. Yeah, just yeah. Sh- suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I mean, <clears throat> suck my dick. Yeah. <laughs> Can I get yeah. your number? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, when you, you, mind, you mind rubbing peanut butter on your puss puss for me? <laughs> <laughs> nah. There it is. You get savage with that retard puss puss. <laughs> now, whenever you go down on a girl, do they like the extra drool down there? Or... <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> when you when you go down on a girl Dan, when you go down on a girl, do you call it giving them special head? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. There he goes, Dan Donahue, everybody. And we did it again and we're doing it everywhere. Lansing, Grand Rapids, Detroit, Toronto, Sh- Kiltony Mania, San Francisco, San Antonio, Austin, Houston, Fort Worth. Look at this drawing from Ryan J. Belt. How about you make some noise for the great? Jeremiah Watkins, yeah. everybody. RyanJEbelt.com. Buy a print of that. Make some noise for the great and powerful Rick Ingram, everyone. Come on. Rick Ingram's a uh, host of the Comedy Store podcast with our uh, great friend Eleanor Kerrigan. That's available everywhere, part of the uh, All Things Comedy banner. That's right. And uh, we love you, Rick. Thank you Thanks so much for always me, being hilarious and awesome. It's grown. The show has grown immensely. Getting bigger. Speaking of getting bigger, uh, the host of one of my favorite podcasts, Jeremiah Wonders, Jeremiah Watkins, is right over there. Yeah. It was him the whole time under that wig, believe it or not. Jeremiah, anything else you want to uh, promote? New episode out of uh, Jeremiah Wonders with the Wave. I'm wearing yeah. my. I'm, look at look how awesome their merch is. The new Wave order. He's part of the Wave from uh, Comedy Central's Roast Battle. Hell yeah! Watch Roast Battle. Uh, we just finished that, and then uh, yeah, follow me on social media at Jeremiah Stana for all the goodies and goodies. Chroma and good Chris, always silent but deadly. Chris, what did you? Uh, I don't think you said anything tonight. What did you think about tonight's episode? Uh, it was as hot as my cousin Tony. Woo. Yep. There you go. How about you make some noise for the one, the only, Joel Berg, everyone. Wow. He's been working out, losing vast amounts of weight and also comedic timing. <laughs> Joel is mostly sorry on Twitter. He was mostly sorry tonight as well. <laughs> you son of a bitch. I thought I had a pretty good show. You guys uh, listen to it later. I think you'll find some gems in there. That's branding. That's called branding. That's what that is. It's incredible. Uh, Wow. So much fun. I had a blast here tonight. Live audience, thank you so much. Uh, Again, I'm doing La Jolla this weekend. I I didn't get to promote it at all. So (laughs) tell your friends. See you guys. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Stick around on the live stream for the uh, for the drawing. We're about to hold Ryan J. E. Belt's drawing up to the stream, and we're gonna start ending episodes with that.